Hello friends, fellow Vera Bradley fans, fellow Harry Potter fans. If you've clicked on this video, it is because I have access to a ton of the new Vera Bradley Harry Potter styles. The newest drop in this collaboration is launching today. So you should be seeing this on August 11th. The new drop is called Friends at Hogwarts. It is the, what number is this in their collaborations? Vera had the Home to Hogwarts, Forbidden Forest, Herbology, Luna's Medallion. So I think this is now the fifth drop of the Vera Bradley and Harry Potter collaboration. I've loved all of the collections. I have had the pleasure to work with Vera Bradley on a few of these launches. This video is not sponsored. I will be working in a sponsored capacity with Vera Bradley over on Instagram to promote the launch of this line because you're not gonna find very many people more into Harry Potter than me and more into Vera Bradley. I grew up with Vera. I was a dancer. I had all the tote bags. If you were a cool kid, you had one of the Vera tote bags at dance class. So yeah, these are two of my loves kind of merging together. This video is not sponsored, but I do have access to a box filled with samples from the new collection. So I thought I would unbox this with you, walk you through the new print, show you some of the new styles and give you a few of my thoughts. Not a review, just taking you through all the goodies. So that way, if you choose to buy, which I recommend if you like anything, you do quickly because the good stuff sells out and most of the time it doesn't get restocked. But anyway, let's dive right into the video. So in this box is the brand new Harry Potter and Vera Bradley Friends at Hogwarts collection. This collection consists of two different prints. So you're gonna have your classic print along with your ditzy print. So this is pretty standard for Vera Bradley. If you're a Vera person, you know this. We get a classic and we get a ditzy. Both of these are on a black background. I'm just picking a random style to kind of show you what they look like. The original print or what I'm calling the original print, it's just the Friends at Hogwarts print. It's really giving me classic Vera Bradley, like OG vibes. We have like a paisley pattern that kind of runs through the print. And with that, it wraps into a bunch of Harry Potter and Hogwarts icons or motifs. I love that we're seeing the crest again on this one. I mean, my favorite of all of the launches really was that very first collection that Vera Bradley did. I loved that there was like the representation of Hogwarts as the school. It kind of made me feel like a Hogwarts student. So I love that we're getting the crest again, but we're also kind of seeing some of the other icons and characters that we know and love and maybe that we felt like we missed in that first collection. That first collection was really, you know, a lot of solids with details of a Hogwarts house or the Hogwarts crest. This one, we're not just getting that. We're also getting a lot of these quote unquote friends at Hogwarts that we know and love. So when you kind of comb through this print, I mean, the stuff you'll find is just endless. You'll see there's Dobby, you'll see Buckbeak is in there. You'll see some of the Pixies, you'll see Fluffy. I mean, the list goes on and on. Honestly, every time I look at this, I feel like I'm finding some new thing I didn't see before. So like even looking at this, I can see the Monster Book of Monsters, a Love Potion, a Hogwarts trunk, Quidditch items. There's just so many little details of not only characters, but icons that again, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you're just gonna eat this up. I think it's really cool. The ditzy print to me does feel different from the, what I'm calling like the classic, the OG print. Both of them are on black, like I said, which again, I love because to me, I maintain a pretty capsule wardrobe. I don't really like when I can't mix and match things. I kind of want to have a bag and be able to use it for a week with all my outfits for the week. So I think it's really cool that both of these are on black. We're coming into fall. These are good just staple pieces, but the prints do feel different. The ditzy print is a little bit more focused on the actual friends at Hogwarts. So here we see some of those characters that you can find in that larger scale paisley print, but you find them with just a little bit more focused and you can really appreciate them for the details. So like on this one, we have Dobby, we have Crookshanks, you even see Fluffy with the harp that you know is playing in the background. We see different owls. So I see Hedwig, but I also see another owl that I'm gonna guess is Errol. <laughs> so I think it's cool that they're actually kind of showing you some friends at Hogwarts that are maybe like a little bit underappreciated. There's even a cat sitting on top of a bunch of books with a hat on and I'm sort of like, is that McGonagall? Maybe it is. It's also pretty cool because they've included the ditzy print on some larger items. Sometimes they feel like we only get a ditzy as an interior print or on smaller items, but it's pretty cool to see it on larger items. So you sort of have like an option of which print you like and which one you wanna pick. For interiors, at least on the ditzy print, and I haven't, I didn't open this up. So this is the first time I'm seeing this, but it's a really cool multi black and gray stripe, like a thin pinstripe print with snitches 
in various positions. I, honestly, I would have bought that as like a, a print on its own. Isn't that always how it goes? You open it up and see the lining and you're like, huh, I would have done a bag in that. On the original Friends at Hogwarts print for the interior lining, you actually do get the ditzy print. If you are somebody that wants a taste of both, I think you could actually get that by just going original all the way because you'll get a little sneak peek of what the ditzy is every time you open up your bag. Let's get into the unboxing. <laughs> this is gonna take a little while. This is in no particular order. I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out of the bag and we'll start with the, the first item that I had pulled out with the ditzy print on it. So this is the Weekender travel bag. I'll make sure to put some modeling shots in here. I know all these styles really well because I am, again, I'm an OG Vera fan. So I have this in several prints. The Weekender for me is honestly probably one of my most used Vera Bradley travel bags. It's actually probably just one of my most used Vera Bradley bags overall because I find it's like the perfect size for if you have like a long day let's say you know us as a family we're gonna go and take the dog and we're gonna go to a friend's house we literally just did this we packed a weekender and every time we take our dog to boarding she takes a Vera Bradley weekender we pack it with her toys and her food and everything and we drop her off at daycare so for me it's perfect as like a family bag but it's also that item that I have yet to find be as good in an airport as my my personal item bag and I'll tell you why it is as big as you can get to fit under the seat in front of you but it still has a trolley sleeve so let's say I'm gonna carry on to a flight so I've got my wheelie bag that I'm gonna put in the overhead compartment and then I have my weekender which I'll use as my personal item bag because I can stick it with the trolley sleeve and not carry it around the airport, but it fits under the seat in front of me and it fits literally everything. I'll put like a handbag inside of it and I'll put like all my tech items, all of that stuff. It's just the right size for that kind of thing. I'm not somebody that goes away just for a weekend very often, but I will say I find so many uses for this bag. It's such a good travel bag. So the next style I have here is in the Friends at Hogwarts print. It's the campus backpack. Another one that quite honestly, if you go on my blog or Instagram, you'll see this in a thousand prints. I bought the campus backpack, two of them. Oh yeah, it's coming back to me now. I literally bought two of them on the first Harry Potter Fear Bradley launch. I bought the all black, the corduroy that was all black with the Hogwarts crest on it. And I bought the Ravenclaw version because I'm a Ravenclaw. So again, this is just one of those bags that like, if I need a backpack, I'm gonna be reaching for a Vera Bradley campus backpack. There's a whole host of backpacks that Vera makes. I actually have a backpack guide up on my blog if you are looking for a little bit more you know, detail on the different kinds. But for me, the campus backpack is the one that just hands down, pick it every time. It has water bottle holders on both sides, so I'm always able to fit whatever beverages I need. It has a really big open main compartment with two little slip pockets on the inside in that compartment, but then it also has a separate, a separate padded laptop sleeve. I do go to the office occasionally. It's not so often anymore, but again, this is one of those things that like if I'm traveling, let's say I'm checking a bag, I'm for sure taking the backpack and the weekender, and I'm going to put them in the overhead compartment and under the seat in front of me and I'll have everything I need for a flight or for a travel day. What do we have here? Oh, a Vera tote. I do have a list, like a packing list of all the items that are in the box. I asked for after the fact just because I was like, what is in here? But so many of these I own in different prints and that's kind of the thing about Vera is that you turn into a collector. I have many Vera totes. Again, one that I have in the all black with the Hogwarts crest. I'm pretty sure I have this in the Herbology or maybe it's Forbidden Forest or maybe it's Luna. Who's to say? The Vera tote is that classic giant tote bag that if you just need a big old black hole and you wanna put everything inside of it, this is it, my friend. It doesn't get better than this. I think from a functional standpoint, I am a woman that has a lot of tote bags. I am a tote bag woman. It's probably my favorite or most used silhouette of bag. I tend to carry a lot of things as a person, I have a lot of needs. But from a functionality standpoint, few of my totes compete with a Vera. And if function is what I really need for the day, I'm always gonna pick a Vera tote, especially the classic size. It's the biggest out of all of my big totes. It has a top zipper which most tote bags don't you know when you slam your brake in the car and your purse goes flying and everything goes on the floor and then you have like rage for the rest of the day that's not a thing with the Vera tote it has a top zip which also means it's a little bit more safe from you know being pickpocketed or somebody going into your bag and then on top of that it's ridiculously lightweight most tote bags that are this size are going to be heavy just from all the hardware and the size and the material with Vera Bradley again these are fabric bags you can toss them in the wash they're super lightweight they just don't weigh a lot however much you 
you're putting into it, that's what you're gonna end up feeling weight-wise when you carry it. I see another tote in here. So this is the small Vera tote. This is really cool that they sent this one because I don't really have a lot of the small Vera totes to be honest with you. I might have, maybe I have one and I think that's the Luna's medallion one. I actually think this is a more practical everyday tote bag size. Like I can actually fit this on the screen showing it to you. And again, in the modeling shots, you'll kind of see what that looks like on my figure compared to the large tote. I think it's lovely that they did this one in the ditzy print. So again, we've got a full piece where you really get to appreciate the whole of the ditzy print on the outside. Like the larger size of the Vera tote, the small one is just as functional. You're just getting a little bit less space, but it still fits a ton. So to be honest, I think most people could use this size as like an everyday tote and don't need the giant Vera size. Or you can be like me and just have all of it. Okay, this, I have never seen this Vera. Who are you? This on the packing list says it is their mini backpack. And if that just ain't the darnest cute little thing I've ever seen, I don't know what is. That is very cute. It's such a good little size. Okay, it's drawstring. That's like a cute little shape, I think, like that. If I'm remembering right, I feel like it's coming back to me. I think that they had this in the Home to Hogwarts print or some sort of small backpack. It might've been not this flap kind. It might've had like a zipper to it. And I did not jump on it when I saw it. I just, I was, I ordered a lot of stuff from that line and it all came out of my own pocket. It was a lot of money. So I feel like I was trying to be responsible and make some choices and I regretted it not getting like a tiny backpack. Cause for me, if I want a backpack for every day, I don't necessarily want the campus backpack. That's what I'm like traveling with. So to have a little mini backpack, that's real stinking cute. And the ditzy print is adorable on it. Okay, this looks like the last of the big ones. And I can tell that my cat, <laughs> I jumped into this box when I wasn't looking because I see some of Popcorn's hair on it. That aside, I think this is my new favorite duffel bag. I really do. Every trip we take home to my parents' place, my parents live about three hours north of us, I always, always, always take the black Hogwarts duffel. Every single time. It's all black. It looks good. It folds down really nice. I can toss it in the wash when I'm done. But this is stinking cute. So this is the large travel duffel. Again, I have this. I have been a couple colors. I think old ones like camo cat throwback, but man, this is really cool other than that mini backpack I think this might be my favorite one probably because I know I'm gonna get the most use out of it Like I said every trip we do that's a road trip I tend to pack a duffel more than anything else and the duffel is slightly bigger than the weekender So I feel like I can actually get like five days worth of stuff into a duffel or a week's worth of stuff into a duffel as opposed to like a couple days worth of stuff into the weekender man I'm really excited about this one. I love the patch details on it. I'll get close up in there so you can see. You've got an embroidered detail on the front. I don't even think that's a patch. I think it's literally just embroidery. Yeah, on all of these, it's not iron-on. This is like really high quality embroidery happening on the bag. And I love the icons they chose. So we've got like Harry's classic glasses. We have our classic letter to get into Hogwarts. We've got a Honey Dukes logo, a snitch, the Deathly Hallows. But man, to have the crest right there on the front, it makes me feel like I'm a Hogwarts student when I travel. I feel like I'm headed to Hogwarts. I can't wait to use this one. I think this one's really cool. All right, this one is a classic for all of you Vera fans, but I've gotta admit, I don't own one of these. This is a triple zip hipster. I know this is a super popular handbag style. I've just literally never picked one up. Like out of all of the bags I tend to get from Vera, it's never made it to my cart, but I know it's popular, so I can't wait to kind of like test it out because people love it. So what's cool about the Harry Potter collection triple zip hipsters, sort of the same as the toe and all that, there are these hidden wand pockets back here. I think you can see right here it says wand goes here in this little pocket. So if you are somebody that has a wand and I do, <laughs> you can stick your wand there. I think that's so cool. Like imagine going to Universal Studios Orlando with this and being able to take your wand with you. Or if you're like me, I'm gonna go shoot these items and have some photos and I'm gonna stick my wand in that pocket. Otherwise, I think the Triple Zip Hipster, there's a reason it's popular. It's a great crossbody bag, but it also is able to be a shoulder bag based on the strap length that you can adjust. It's got a really big pocket main compartment so you can fit a ton of stuff but then again classic to its name it does have three zips so you've got lots of storage options in there this one's in the ditzy print which I do think was the right choice for this size of bag because I'm really getting to like appreciate all of the characters on here yeah I'm excited to try that one we're coming down to the end people we're coming down to just like the little accessories this is the lunch bunch I know it's a lunch bunch I don't even have to look 
because I've owned lunch bunches in the past. I've always found these to be very practical. If you're somebody that works somewhere where you bring in your lunch to work, I like to have that separate in its own container. Um, not just taking a Tupperware. So these are insulated to make sure that your food does stay cold. I also like that there's a little ID pocket on the side. That way nobody steals my lunch or if they do, at least they know who they're stealing it from. I love that it's black and it's Harry Potter. I just do. I'm just so obsessed with this print. I'm just like sitting here obsessed with it. Also, I just noticed that this says consciously crafted. This probably means that it's part of Vera's new commitment to having sustainable fabrics. So that's awesome. All right, I'm pulling out the last of the box in here. We've just got a few few accessories. So there's a couple of the zip, no, three of the zip ID cases. I can show them to you all at once. I'm not sure if these are all of the ones in the collection, but there's three here. So I'm gonna assume that these are all three. You have three different friends to choose from. You have Buckbeak in the blue. These zip ID cases are just really handy. You can stick cards or I used to stick like my Muni pass, like I lived in San Francisco for a long time, so I would just use that and scan that so I wouldn't lose my Muni pass. You can stick it on a lanyard or on your keys, whatever. You have a pink one here that looks like it's little baby Norbert. I think that's so cute. And then I love this last one. The black one is Dobby. Is it Dobby? I mean, I think it's Dobby, but I know that there was a cute little lady house elf too. I mean, it's a house elf. It's stinking cute. It's really quite adorable. Again, you're gonna get no complaint from me on the quality of this. These are all embroidered. To me, it looks so so high quality, it's done so well. On the interior of these, you do have the ditzy print again, so you'll sneak in a few more characters. Great little accessories. And the last thing is this little luggage tag. So I, from the original collection, there was a little like bag charm that was the acceptance letter to Hogwarts. I bought that. I also bought the glasses case. It literally looks like Harry's glasses. And I clip that onto all my backpacks. Like I can see that it's clipped onto my backpack that I have over there. Still use that every day. I just think this is so stinking cute. It's like an extra little thing. But again, when your suitcase, let's say you stick this on your rolling suitcase, when it comes out of the luggage carousel, you'll know this is your bag. I think it's a really cute way to kind of customize your travel bags. I'm probably gonna stick it on my new tote bag because again, I have my letter to Hogwarts bag tag on my Hogwarts duffel. So now I'll stick this on my new duffel. Okay, I had to pull this one off from the side because I'm not gonna lie. When I opened the box, I saw the blanket and I unwrapped the blanket and I took a nap. This is Vera's classic blanket. It's just the good old fleece blanket that I have 5,000 of. And when I say 5,000, I am not exaggerating. I have this in every Harry Potter print that there's ever been. I've just had Vera blankets for forever. I think they're so soft, they're so cozy, they stay that way. A lot of blankets, once you wash them, it gets pretty icky pretty fast and that's not the case with these. I love that I have this in yet another Harry Potter print. And like I said, I took it out of the box and I took a nap, so. What more of a review do you want? That's everything that was in this big old box, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and seeing some up close and personal mod shots of some of these new styles and the print. Again, the collection launches today at August 11th. I will leave a link to all of these in the description box down below for you to shop. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments or if you just wanna chat your love of Harry Potter and Vera Bradley, I'm here for you. Happy shopping.